Right, off on a mission. Uh, middle of winter. Heavy rain warnings are uh, about for where I'm going, and I left my raincoat at home and, and my light leggings, so I have no wet weather gear at all. Left my torch at home on the beach. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, heading down to the Hammer Mate, <coughs> um, uh, clean up a few goats, and uh, they'll be consequently used for dog food so they're not just shot and left. The, uh, the farm has an uh, overabundance of pigs as well, so hopefully we'll come across one of them. But they have been pretty hammered lately. So I'll just wait and see. Uh, we're in the central, heading to the central king country area of the Waikato in New Zealand. Um, we have a, a, quite a big goat uh, problem here. There's thousands of them around. I'm just driving down and through the, uh, it's a bit of a gorge on, on my way through and I've probably passed 50 goats on the side of the road, um, a couple of dead because they've been hit by cars, there's that many of them. Um, it's illegal to shoot from the, to, from the road in New Zealand, so, and, and it's private property so I won't be doing that, I'm just driving past and seeing them, they're just, like, if I could turn the camera and you'd see them, but uh, can't because the camera's fixed, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's the plan. So I'll head down there. I've got about another hour to go to get there. And uh, I'll take it from there. All right. Cheers. Good morning. It's the next day. Um, yesterday didn't come to much. I pretty much got here and the mate was uh, doing some fencing so I went and spent two or three hours uh, clearing blackberry and, and helping out with some fencing and got rained on all afternoon. Um, a heavy rain morning. Well, another fine job there, New Zealand Forecast Service. Uh, so I've just got up, oh it's actually pretty early, it's like 9 o'clock now, it's pretty late rather, so um, I've just got up uh, and uh, dusting off a few beverages from yesterday afternoon, and my mate's just gone to do some farm stuff, and he says 1800 acres, you go and find some goats if you want, if you see any pigs, tip them over, if you see any deer, just take photos, so like, yeah absolutely, cool as. So uh, I'm going to go for a blaze, um, I reasonably new to me uh, side by side, which I got really dirty yesterday. Yeah, had a few teething problems trying to go up banks and falling down there, <laughs> that's my own fault, but uh, it's good times. And uh, so I'm going to go and try and do some uh, some looking around, I'll just drive around the farm and just, just enjoy, enjoy myself. I, I don't care if I don't get done today, I'm just going to go and have some fun. But just in case, I've got my new, brand new gun rack here. With my Sour 308 and my Levtech 357, um, both of them have no, uh, both have, have full mags. Nothing's in the breech, um, so they're, they're empty. They're cold guns, and uh, I'm just trying out my new uh, gun racks that I put on here. So uh, I'm gonna go and crank this thing in the guts and go and do some dumb shit. Well, responsible dumb shit. Obviously, just gonna drive around the farm and look at some stuff, take some photos, and try and shoot a few goats for them. Cool. All right. Thank you. We'll, uh, keep you informed. Well, yeah, just a bit of an update. Um, I was just talking to my mate again. I was primarily what I'm doing is, is going up to where we um, shot a few goats last week and stack up the bodies to see if there's a uh, pig hanging around there trying to eat it. And I uh, said, "Oh, what's the chance I've seen it in the daylight here?" And he says, "Oh, all the time." He says, "I see pigs out here all the time, broad day, middle of paddock, middle of paddocks." He says, "It's the luck of the draw. Are they here or not?" So he says, "Just um, every time you go and see a big come across." a big um, hillside and the cliffs and stuff just, just stop and have a gander you know they, they are everywhere here it's just whether you're here at the same time as them so I've just uh, stopped at a big uh, in a gully halfway up this hill and I'm just going to bust out my bee nose and have a quick look on these ridges but, uh, this is what I'm dealing with
Oops. So I'm slowly making my way to where we got these goats. They're about another K away. So I'm just going to just stop here and have a gander. And uh, yeah, oh, there's already heaps of goats I've seen, but uh, they're second, second choice. So if there's a possibility of, of a pig, I'll, I'll go for that first. But there's no point in opening up on, on goats first if you're trying to get something else. Well, that's my plan anyway. All right, I'll uh, get the Buster Binos out and have a quick look around. All right. Um, I'm bike parked up there. I'm gonna uh, grab my gun and jump over this fence, and we're gonna. I don't know if you can see, but we're gonna walk down there, across this field, over onto there, because down that gully is where we tipped over a heap of goats last last week or the week before, and I was just gonna just poke my head over there and. Uh, See if there's anything having to feed on them, which should be nice, but I doubt it. That's the immediate plan, and then after that, uh, keep driving and looking, tip over some goats, or see what happens. Have fun on my suburb side. New toy, new toy seems to be going all right. Uh, yeah, I haven't even put it in four wheel drive yet today. Just gone everywhere up these hills, all, all up through these tracks and uh, through the mud and. Yeah, no four-wheel drive yet, but it's coming. If we go back the way we did last time, I don't think I'm going to get through these bile holes, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. It's got a winch, so... <laughs> Alright, enough talking crap. Uh, one thing I realised I have done wrong this trip, and it's pretty simple, and it's... It's, it's no point having what I have without having it on me. And what I'll do is I'll go to my glove box over here. And the glove box... Put all that crap in there. Is this my PLB? It doesn't do me any good in the glove box, so I'll strip it under my belt and uh, keep going. Yeah, yeah. Can't call help if you don't have a phone, eh? <laughs> Tell ya, I am loving this gun rack. It is fantastic. One down. Then we can stay there. I'll take him for a walk later. Alright, let's do this. So, I sometimes worry about my, my memory. So, on, on top of my rain jacket and, and pants and stuff I left at home yesterday, and, and my big torch, so I can go spotlighting, uh, I worked out this morning that I uh, left my uh, hunting boots at home too, so I'm walking around in gum boots. Oh, which is less than ideal because they're not even grippy gum boots. They're non-marking soles, I, boots that I, I, with with no traction whatsoever. I had to get to to go on a fishing charter. I had to have gum boots with non-marking soles. Oh. So I just started walking down the down this ridge. Went to throw my gun over my shoulder. I'm like, there's no strap on my gun. I must have taken it off last time to to clean things properly. And oh, no, I think I took it off to. When I was out at the range, so the sling on my gun is sitting at home on my gun safe. Oh my god, oh, I just make things so hard for myself. Well, push on through it and just have to carry it. Never mind. Well, nothing on the first stack of goats, but something's been in there because here's these goats that we got last week. But see how they're spread apart like that? I I did those goats there, and I uh, I did the processing of them for the the dog food, and I didn't leave them like that. They're in one pile, so I don't know if it's a hawk had a massive goat trying to drag one away, or uh, or or it's pigs. But yeah, they were in one pile last week, so something's been in there looking at them. And the other set is down at the bottom of this. Uh, ridge, we came through that, go that gate, and somewhere down here, just just on the other side of those trees, it's about another five or six. It doesn't look like there's any movement even been down there. Don't don't get me wrong, there is uh, lots of um, pig rooting and things, and reasonably fresh through there, all on the other side of that fence. 
but no pegs as yet. Um, yeah, peg rooting. That's only a little bit. Come out, I dare you to. So after talking a bit of crap, we're gonna and looking around, we couldn't see anything. Going. Head back to this place, and I didn't realise he actually had pig dogs. He says if you want to do a lot of running, we can get some pig dogs. I'm like, well, I'm really lazy and I'm fit, but maybe. So I'm gonna head back and uh, make another plan. Yeah, there's, there's pig breeding everywhere. That was a hit. It is really. It's dead. Really? Yep. Alright. Couldn't get much on camera, but uh, yeah, just poleaxed uh, four goats. Uh, just pulled off my best shot ever. It's all ranged, ranged out. And uh, the first one was here. Then I got uh, two more up there. And then one I got just under the ridge line it was a safe shot but uh, I didn't dial anything I just uh, did holdovers it was my longest shot there was 389 meters it was sitting just there and it's, it's rolled back down oh that's it there if you can make it out but 389 meters was my 308 it was about a meter hold on top of it Best shot ever. Fantastic. And this is all pig rooting. Crazy. It was. It's fucked. I saw the hole. Just behind, just behind the shoulder. Right. Three more down. Uh, we actually caught them all on camera, I think, at that, that time. But uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said, this is what we're here for here to do is to kill goats. And we just came around the corner, and these ones like, oh, just right in front. So I didn't even see them. <laughs> so yeah, Pollux, three more. So we're just going to go down there and harvest them because don't have to waste them. It's not just shooting and leaving, which is awesome. So going to get them, and uh, yeah. I yeah, threw we'll throw away to uh, made short work of that and then I finished the last one off with the 357. First first time it's got blood. Oh, Jesus bloody <laughs> Alright, okay. Do this. I'm not gonna put this on camera, there's no need for it. <laughs> 